So in the last video I had my little guy who could shoot a bit. Just wanted to um, extend this because shooting is no fun unless you've got anything to shoot at. But also there's some other issues we need to address. Uh, now the first one is when we shoot these bullets just keep on going forever and ever which is fine up to a point but if you've got a lot of bullets uh, you end up lagging. No one likes lag. So the easiest answer to that is to find the one and only bullet that you created right at the beginning and a useful behavior is the destroy outside layout behavior. So this one, the moment it, it, the screen starts up, the layout starts, that will just disappear anyway and anything shot off the side will disappear. So it just behaves exactly the same um, but you're not going to get that lag problem. Um, another minor detail that I thought might be worth just looking at. At the moment, um, when we shoot, the bullet spawns from the very center of this character. What I thought might be better is if he actually has a gun that he uses for shooting, because you shoot with a gun and not so much with um, your body, typically. So let's just draw a high-quality gun that he is holding, and we're going to use an extra image point. So an image point, I don't know if you can see the image point is right in the middle there, it kind of defines the position of the character and when it's doing the mirror for instance it flips it around that mirror. So we don't want to move that image point but we want an image point over here that we can shoot from. So if I just click add and um, I'm going to click this as being here. So now I've got a new image point we're going to use that to spawn the bullets. I'm even going to name it as the bullet spawn point there. So just closing that and then go back into the event sheet and where we've got on space press spawn bullet on layer naught at image point zero, image point one. Uh, minor difference but these are the small details that make a difference to quality in a game. So back to enemies, we need an enemy to shoot at. Let's make someone. So he's going to be a sprite, he's going to be here and he's going to look scary, big, uh, scary guy, good enough. Change it later. I'll do a lot of placeholder graphics, um, knowing that I'm going to fix the graphics up uh, when I get a chance. Um, and that's probably what you should do. You get the gameplay right first and then you spend some time after that fixing up the graphics. So there's my big, not so big enemy that I want to shoot. Uh, I'm just going to make him stay there for the moment and all I'm going to do, or I should call him, um, I'm going to call him Mob, and the event is going to be that when the bullet on collision with another object, the Mob. Done. So that automatically selects the Mob and it's going to be Mob Destroy. So I can have a bunch of mobs um, just by holding down control and oops and um, dragging around uh, and you'll notice that it doesn't destroy all the mobs, it destroys the mob that was selected by that event. So oh, now that's a bit annoying isn't it that the bullet kept on going, kind of felt a bit wrong that. So um, as well as destroying the mob I think I'm going to destroy the bullet as well. Let's check that looks better. So it's a little bit laggy here. Oh yeah, that worked much better. So now I've got those mobs. Um, I need to think about a bunch of other stuff in terms of making the mobs more interesting to shoot at and perhaps making the whole gameplay a bit better. That's the next video.